Hi, my name is Ray Weiss. I would like to welcome you to the video on balloon sinuplasty techniques. This is a unique three camera view of frontal sinus balloon dilation. Typically we concentrate on the endoscopic view, but these three shots allow us to look at the hands and the movements external to the endoscopic shot and that allows us to coordinate the concept of what's actually happening to get us to the right spot endoscopically. You can see that the distal portion of the guide is placed well uh, inferior to the crotch of the uncinate and the middle turban allowing a full search pattern to be obtained. If the wire axis is not obtained initially in a direct superior fashion then we will move the guide a little bit laterally behind the incident process to allow a different search pattern to be obtained. Uh, once the wire uh, is able to be advanced into the frontal sinus, you'll see the illumination pattern on the forehead uh, right about uh, now. You can see that over the eye. And then uh, after that's obtained, we will advance the balloon catheter. The balloon catheter will commonly uh, carry a part of the wire with it and that can be uncomfortable in an in-office setting so you can see that the wire was slightly retracted that's where you saw the illumination move and now we're going to dilate three times uh, fully uh, hitting each part of the outflow track uh, we can determine how far to pull back the balloon by looking at the markers on the balloon as they show up endoscopically and uh, you can see that the patient has tolerated each of these dilations well um, after the last dilation has been completed, the balloon catheter is removed. So in closure, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it is a resource for you in the future. If I can be of any help, please contact me. Thank you very much for your time.